Hello kids, today we will talk about force. First we will learn what we mean by force. Say if a chair is lying in front of you and you want to move it away, what do you have to do? Will the chair move by itself? You can say, hey chair move. Does it happen like that? No way, right? You have to make an effort. You have to push the chair away. Of course, someone else can make the effort on your behalf and push it away. But the important thing is, effort is required by you or someone to push it. Otherwise, chair will not move. Similarly, if you want to move the chair towards you, you have to make an effort to pull it towards you. Correct? This effort to push or pull is called as force. You cannot move an object without using force. Force is needed to pull or push something. For example, you cannot push a ball without using force. To move a light object like pencil when you do writing, you have to use less force. And to move a heavy object like table, you have to apply more force. Let's look at another force. You kick a ball and the ball starts moving. Does the ball keep moving or the ball comes to rest after moving through some distance? It comes to stop, right? But what makes the ball stop? This is a natural force called frictional force. Friction happens when any two things rub against each other. Frictional forces are present almost everywhere in our daily life. So why did the ball stop on the ground? Because the ball and the ground are rubbing against each other. The force by which you push the ball is moving the ball forward and the frictional force that generates because of the rubbing of ball and the ground is trying to stop the ball. These two forces fight against each other with the push force winning against friction for some time and gradually the push force gets tired and the frictional force wins and the ball stops. Now take two balls of the same type 
throw one ball on the smooth surface and another on the rough surface with the same force. Guess which ball stops first? Correct. The ball moving on the rough surface stops first. And why did this happen? Because if the surface is rough, the friction will be more. Hence, the ball moving on the rough surface stops first and the friction was less on the smooth surface so that ball stopped later. We use force to move the object like when we hit a ball we use force to push it. Same way to stop the moving body we need a force like when we catch a ball we use a force to stop it. Apart from moving the object or stopping the object, force can change the direction of the moving body also. Like in this picture, the person hits the moving ball with a bat and uses the force to change the direction so that the opponent doesn't hit it. Force can also change the shape of the object like when we apply force on a soft ball as given in the diagram it can change the shape of the ball so force can do multiple things it can move an object slow it down stop it completely change the direction of a moving object or change the shape of an object and the force means pushing or pulling an object and Whenever force is applied and the object moves, like the chair moves, the work is done. Very simple. Goodbye kids.